in our first video we talked about the two groups of animals that is the parazoa with no definite organization no specialized tissue and the metazoa the, with, uh, the animals with the specialized organ system and development and uh, the the metazoans are further divided into radiata and the bilateral that is based on the, the symmetry and we also talked about the symmetry in another video uh, uh, the bilaterally symmetrical animals, bilateral and the radially symmetrical animals are called radiata. And uh, these, uh, the animals may also be categorized into further groups that is diploblastic group and the tissue triploblastic. Now, what is the basis of this triploblastic and diploblastic grouping? This is based on the germinal layers, the number of germinal layers. And how this, how, what is germinal layer? This germinal layer is a primary layer of cell which is formed during embryo development or embryogenesis. Now, how this layer is formed? This layer is formed after fertilization when uh, there is a f f uh, mixing of the fusion of the egg and the sperm, as you can see over here. The egg and the sperm they fertilize, they, and there is formation of a single uh, diploid cell, zygote. This zygote divides into two identical cells initially, the first cleavage. And then the further cleavage results in the a number of cells, a group of identical cells, and this group of identical cell is called as marula. The marula further develop into gastrula, that is uh, the by the process gastrulation, and the gastrulation is the formation of three germinal layers or two germinal layers. Now, if there are two germinal layers formed, then the animal is called as diploblastic, and if there is formation of three germinal layers, then the animal is called as triploblastic animal. Now, what, is, uh, uh, what are other characteristics? The diploblastic animal having two germinal layers. What are those two, two germinal layers? The ectoderm, the, uh, the endoderm. And sometimes uh, there is uh, an, a middle, uh, uh, you can say, a, a sort of tissue. Uh, there is in the middle, there is a jelly like mass present. And the, the jelly like mass is called as mesoglea. It is not a layer, it is not a specialized tissue. It is just a you can say the jelly like mass which helps in the diffusion of material uh, the waste between is that uh, the sort of interaction between these two ectoderm and the endoderm okay these layers are formed although the layers are formed in the ectoderm and the endoderms these are not very much specialized they are not differentiated into organs or systems they are just layers uh, less differentiated layers Okay, uh, if, if you uh, see the gastrula of this uh, diploblastic animals, you can see there is an outer layer, ectoderm, and then there is inner layer, the endoderm, and there is there is a jelly-like substance present pre between them. The only phylum that belongs to this group is the cnidarians or the coelenterates. There is no transport system present in this. There is no CNS present. Th in instead of transport system, how they uh, cover up the transport? The, the transports uh, is uh, uh, the function of transports is done with the help of diffusion and there is no centralized nervous system instead they have a diffused nervous system as in case of hydra there is only a neural network or uh, neural network present no brain no direction of impulse and there is no digestive system special digestive system present and there is a gastrovascular cavity and the gastrovascular cavity is a sac like cavity which have a single opening and their uh, digestive system is called as uh, a sac like digestive system the example I have discussed the examples now let's talk about the other group the other group is the triploblastic animals the triploblastic animals consist of three germinal layers that is the ectoderm the mesoderm the the new layer and the endoderm and there's, they are specialized now i'll discuss that these are specialized into organs these layers develop into further organs and organ systems and they are more specialized as if you, if you compare it with this one they are more specialized the ectoderm the ectoderm uh, then give rise to integumentary system the skin and the nervous system or the sense organs present and then there is a mesoderm. Mesoderm uh, actually forms uh, approximately majority of the internal body organs uh, that, in, that may include notochord, skeleton, muscle, the excretory system, the kidney, the reproductive system, and uh, sometimes the uh, outer lining of the gut as well. Uh, there is no clear cut boundary that this layer is making only the system. Uh, sometimes there is merging of the systems present. 
and then there is endoderm the endoderm give rise to gut the endoderm give rise to the internal lining of the gut it give rise to the pancreas the liver and it give rise to some sometimes some of the uh, glands like thyroid gland and the other ones so this is uh, these are the two groups of animals which are based based on uh, the number of germinal layers now which uh, uh, which phyla belongs to this group the phylum that belongs to this group is a platyhelminthes and the, from platyhelminthes to the chordates all of them what about the uh, sponges or uh, your porifers they are not categorized into this group why they are not categorized into the, because they are not specialized and this grouping is based on this number of germinal layers they are not specialized into any germinal layer there's a just association of different cells thank you so much